I feel it in my bones, you're about to move. I feel it in the wind, you're about to ride in. You said that you would pour your spirit out. You said that you would fall on sons and daughters. So come. Let me get a picture of him. I'll put you on my YouTube channel. Dang, those are big. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Man, that one's nice right there. Yeah, that big one. Heck yeah. It put up a fight. Right, I bet, man. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm going to switch to YouTube channel. It's called uh, Fishing with Jesus. Alright. Yeah. Heck yeah. Is it all space or just all one? Ah, uh, just all one word. YouTube. Right. Yeah. Check it out. I'll put you in the opening of the show of the fish. <laughs> Alright. What's your name, man? Ollie. Scott. Nice, nice to meet you. Go. you. Alright. Good luck, man. Alright, you too. Thank you. Hey, welcome back and thank you for tuning in to Fishing with Jesus. My name is Scott and in this video you're going to see footage from Canyon Lake and in Cano Park. Now, I've been fishing the last couple of weeks and I haven't got into anything. That's just how it goes sometimes, but um, I still enjoy going out there and trying. So, um, you're going to see TS Weekly. Those are two kids that go to my church. Um, his dad, their dad Gary and I are friends and we go fishing and um, we've been fishing and they they were there and they're jumping off the cliffs. So go check them out. Go check out their YouTube channel. It's called TS Weekly, formerly known as The Kid Wilderness. So, um, so I didn't catch any fish, but you saw earlier that Ollie caught three nice catfish and coming up, you're going to see, I believe his name is John, hook in and pulling in a monster, monster fish. So stay tuned for that. But first, I just want to share something with you that I was able to watch this week. Um, uh, Elevation Church, I watch it usually on Mondays. It's from the Sunday um, service. And man, Pastor Stephen Furtick was preaching on confidence and where do you put your confidence? Do you put it into people, your own abilities, your money, your job? Um, I think we all need to be, be put that in check and put it in God. Place our confidence in God. And you know what? This is what he says. I'm going to read something, and it's verbatim from him, from Stephen Furtick. And it says, check this out. It says, I hear people say sometimes, I gave up on God because some people in the church let me down. Have you ever been let down by people? Have you ever let people down? I know I have. So they say, here's what they said, I gave up on God because some people in the church let me down. And he goes on to say, but let me ask you a question. Your relationship with God is so precious. Why would you put your confidence in God and on how people treat you? People will always let you down and fall short, even if they have good intentions. See, we have limitations as humans, so we're going to let people down. Like I said, I've let people down, people let me down, and I'm sure it's happened to you. But man, that just resonates. Like, why are you putting all your, your confidence in the relationship of God that you have on people or the way people treat you? Think about that. Let that soak in. If you need to rewind and listen to what I said, Listen to it again, or better yet, go to Elevation Church um, YouTube channel and check out um, 
Losing My Confidence. That's a great video. If you got 45 minutes to to watch it, I'm sure you will be blessed. Um, and I also wanted to read a prayer from Dr. Bryant. She does this devotional that I've been reading. It's called AIM. And this prayer, man, I just want you to hear it. This is what I want you guys to hear, and I want to say this to God. Listen to this. Our Heavenly Father, I ask for and receive your forgiveness for each goal I have strived to achieve that did not glorify and honor you. I ask that you reveal to me the goals that you want me to pursue that align biblically with your plan and purpose for my life. I ask for wisdom and strength to effectively gauge each goal as I seek to honor and glorify you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. And that's my prayer. Don't forget about the giveaway we got coming up. As soon as we hit 800, one of you is going to win the reel. God bless you, and I hope you're blessed. But stick around and watch the rest of this. Later. Looks like someone's got one. That's a big old catfish. No. <laughs> Catch and release right there. I don't.